what are some of the easy things that we can do to slow down aging? Yeah, well, the the ancients knew this. We just forgot it or we, we became lazy. Uh, if there's one thing I could say that would very likely give you uh, more years of healthy life, and it's important, these are healthy years where you look and feel younger. You're not just living longer as an old person. That thing would be uh, to eat less often. Right? And, and there's been some wonderful studies showing that, um, mostly in animals, but some, some human studies as well, that it's not as important what you eat, it's when you eat. And so I've skipped breakfast for most of my life. I now skip lunch most days and have a regular dinner. And that, I believe, is it's the biggest bang for the buck in terms of healthy longevity. So do you do this 16-hour, what I call intermittent fasting, or, or do you do even longer than that? Uh, I eat once a day, and usually it's a healthy dinner if I can help it. Uh, but I'm only human. I think everybody needs to enjoy life, so I, I have the occasional cheesecake kind of thing, but not often. Uh, and I, So it's I go for about 18 hours. I try not to eat late as well because I don't sleep well. So you do, um, you have one meal a day, seven days a week. Right. Okay. If I, if I have lunch, maybe it's a, it's some nuts or a little salad, but nothing heavy. And that's rare. And did you have to train yourself to do this? See, I, I don't ever even want breakfast. I mean, skipping breakfast is easy, but my sister and my husband just cook. They have to eat the minute they wake up. So for some people like you and I, that's kind of natural, but... What would you say to someone who says, skip breakfast, I'm, I'm wake up ravenous and, and I really need lunch? How do they do that? Well, that's fine. We're all different. There's no one size fits all for what I'm saying today or what I do. Uh, so if some people need breakfast. They are hungry in the morning. You and I are not. Uh, but I think if, if you can skip either the beginning meal or the, uh, the end of the day oh. meal, the dinner, uh, that would give you combined with sleep, this 18 hours, 16 to 18 hours that uh, we think is going to be very beneficial. And when you do it, you said you eat anything. So would you eat just whatever you wanted or you still look at some foods like high fat, fat fried foods and salty food as like, oh, that's not great for aging either. Do you have some foods that you simply do your best to avoid because of their impact on aging? Oh, sure. I mean, every meal I look at uh, scientifically Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I, I don't always stick to eating leafy greens for dinner. I'm not I'm not a rabbit, but my, my diet does tend to look more like a rabbit's than, than a lion's. And there's a study that just came out a few days ago by Steve Horvath's lab um, over in UCLA. He was one of the co-authors that showed that when you do that test of biological age that I was talking about, the mouth swab that we're developing, those kind of diets which are rich in plants, uh, legumes, nuts, low fat, low sugar, uh, they do actually, those people have slower aging. Mm, okay. Have you got any um, tips on the worst food that you should avoid if you possibly can? Because a lot of people say, you know, I, I, I cut my appetite by drinking loads of Diet Coke. I have so many models to say, and I drink 20 cans of Diet Coke a day and I don't eat. But then I think that's so bad for you because you're drinking like chemicals. But what would you say to someone who said, I'm really not eating because I'm drinking Diet 7-Up or Diet Coke or I think it's called Mountain Dew or lots of black oh, coffee but, with sweetener in it? Right. So I, I've looked, looked into this and these diet sodas are, are nowhere near as bad as actual sugar. Um, yeah. Well, that's good to know. You know, High fructose corn syrup, you just want to avoid that. And certainly in America, it's, it's in a lot of foods. I know. Uh, but, you know, diet sodas aren't perfect. They, they trick the body and the microbiome into responding as though you're actually eating sugar. Uh, but I, I really don't believe, based on what I've read, that they are that bad. You know, if you want to put a, a number on it just to, to be you know, more informative, they might be 10 to 20% as bad as real sugar. And if you need a sugar fix, uh, absolutely need one you know it's much better choice than actual sugar uh but the best choice are some of these uh, natural sweeteners stevia based sweeteners are what i try to eat, try to eat um but you know one one candy one cake's not going to kill you um that's the point but try to be good as much as you can every day mm -hmm. and over a lifetime or certainly that the, the latter half of life it will make a huge difference